Hello everybody and welcome back to Rune Factory 4 Special. On the last episode, we were going through the, um, the floating palace, but I got really, really tired. I had a long day that day. Uh, let me, and I, I went, I got another cyclone, so I'm gonna put that back, I'm gonna put that up. So what we're gonna do is actually, first, let me restock on... Oh, did I not grab more bread? Whoops. What's today? Okay, I got time. Ha 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 ha. Ooh. Let me not. Hey, welcome. Actually, wait. Nah, no, screw you. Um. I think I bought flour, didn't I? No, I didn't. Run! I need to restock on bread. Come take a look. What's up? Thanks. Come again, okay? Yeah, uh huh. Shut up. Let's make more bread. Can I make 40? Or do I not have enough backspace? I don't have enough backspace. Ooh, hoo -hoo -hoo. And yes, I still have a plant sword stronger than my blade, so I'm using it. I don't know if you guys saw that, but I did grab a plant shield that was stronger than my than my shield. It just doesn't have the like. I, I found a plant shield that was the same as this shield, <laughs> the chaos shield, because apparently this one's easy to get. Um, <clears throat> but I still like the resistances on this. But I get sealed with over a hundred percent seal resist, so there's no point in caring about it right now. <laughs> what was I doing? Oh, right. Not that. I was doing not that. Making toast! Ooh, that's not. The reason I get 70 is because I know while making it, I'm going to end up eating some. Yes, I could go and take a bath, but... Come now. I had to fight that tank again, and I didn't have no health. I mean, I didn't have no uh, bread, no toast, and I was like, oh no. Uh. Ah, I put all the toast up like an idiot. Wait, could not have just made... Do -do -do. I'm trying not to take forever this time, though, because... Put that away. I have an apple pie in the oven, and I don't want it to burn. So... I had exactly enough to make 30. Aha! I need to make some better gloves, too. I'm 
fact, I need to make some status weapons. Or I could just work on getting my pets to be able to inflict statuses. I might do that. Because I know I can make them have inflict almost every status in the book if I uh, work with them enough. Haha. <laughs> Alright, but before we worry about that... Oh, hey, girl. Uh, I'm gonna take you with me. And I'm gonna take you with me. Come on. Welcome, welcome. Yes. But it took some time because I was trying to get my money up. And I was trying to finish a couple of things, like getting the rosary. Hello. Which I got. Oh, hey, Jones. Hey. I canceled like 90% of the festival, so I don't even know why you guys are excited about things anymore. Okay, where was it again? Alright, Furley Empire. Alright, so we've got one more like area to go through. I've been going through here because I needed platinum, and the only way I can get it is apparently from these boxes, or stupidly from Rune Prana, which I won't have access to for a while. So I would love to go through Rune Prana. Let's be smart. Let's save game. Okay. Um, <clears throat> let's see what this nonsense is all about. Weapon. if I do. I hate how the how the weapon upgrade from gold is it goes from being like level 44. This is loud because I know I'm talking loud. Goes from like are you guys just standing there getting hit? Uh, goes from like being level 44 to being level 80 or like 50 something in, in the crafting level to being like 80 and I'm like are you really serious right now? Let him die. They are not happy. Oh, I did not mean to do that. Now I gotta do that whole thing over again. Oh well. I keep confusing the um, the button needed to do that. Oh wait. <laughs> An actual disaster works better in here for crossing areas. But Cyclone is more fun to you. Let's keep moving. Grab this again, too. All oh, these plant things. Oh, they're weighted. Um, that's annoying. I'll use the hammer piece that I got. Do I want to use the... I'm going to use the nail. I don't want to waste the hammer piece. Can you back up? I, I, need, I need you to back up. Wow, these things hit much harder than the door traps in the other place. There's a down area, too. Okay. Aha! You still suck even though you're annoying. There was one place in here that was like full of fire mages and these guys, and they were healing them, <clears throat> and this guy wouldn't leave me alone for five seconds. I made did so much damage too, it was ridiculous. Let him die. Let him, let, let him die. Let him die. Let, let him die. Thank you. Let's sit down. I'm actually awake this time. Uh, 
Uh, ah. So that's what they do. And I've been feeding them fairy dust. So their magic attacks are stronger now. They're stronger than me, I think. Unfortunate. But I need better gear anyway. Oh, hi. Green switch. Okay. There we go. That'll do it. I don't think I have any way of getting through here. I've got a bit more defense now because of the shield. Even if I've got less stats. Oh, that's fine. I still hate the birds, so they're the worst. Let me eat some of this bread. Let's see. Let's go this way. Faster. Let's take him out. You're next. Nope. I am not dealing with you. You will not get the chance to heal. Don't know which direction that opened, but it's something, right? Well, I can go down now. Oh wait, I could have... Wait... So that's how that's the thing, so... Alright, what about over here? <clears throat> Alright, that's still blocked off. Down, down. Oh, yeah. Good. Let him die. He's done. Lumber, chill out. don't know what that is. But I haven't gone down this way, so let's do that. I still need the red to go through there. Flip some switch. So let's see if it's a change. Ah, uh, I can go through here. Platinum. Okay. Can go up. Sit it down. 
down. What do you see? It's just lumber. Oh. Yes, I brute forced it. No, I don't regret it. Ow. Platinum! Don't mind if I do. Uh, okay. There's still a spot that I missed. But, did that open up the other area? And that blue is still there, so that's the way. That opened up that. Stop yawning. Oh, it's one of these. see those I think about uh, Tizen Destiny because I gave hundreds of them to Elena over my course of time playing that game. had to be fake or there had to be a spot to enter from. If you don't stop, you're not going to sleep. Seems lame. Ah, I think it's gonna be just a single smash of the ground. Alright, it was two. Uh huh. Lame. Don't care. Alright, oh, why did I do that? No, I was trying to look at the map. Well, we all make mistakes. Some worse than others. Well, we have a fast travel point. Uh, all right, let's go back over here. There's one area I haven't been in, and I gotta know. We can't leave. Well, there's two areas. We can't leave things unmarked. What? 
Avenger Rock, and Round Break. I've seen that before. I have to read this one. A cyclone attack that blows foes away. Great when to use when surrounded. Okay, so it's not useful right now. That time was on purpose. Let's go. Let's finish this area. Faster. I wonder what I'm finding here. Oh, a bigger version of this guy. Okay. How dare you? Or you're not going anywhere. He fights just like the tank. He fights just like the tank. Oh, God. The fatigue. I don't remember how to clear those. Hmm. Oh, that shouldn't be a problem. But just for the sake of uh, making sure that we don't screw ourselves over. Because I need to take care of this. Oh, okay. Well, this is simple. Alright. Where's my sickle? Because I'm leveling these up. I got rid of the cow, the, sh the, uh, the chicken, and the woolly. Because I was getting annoyed. Thank you. 
festival is today. I've canceled most of them. I ran out of Prince Points trying to cancel everything because I didn't actually realize it costed Prince Points because that seems stupid. It cost Prince Points to cancel, it cost Prince Points that. I just didn't want festivals in the way. There's a uh, town event going on with the stupid bird. The one that pissed me off the most was actually the one with the bird. And it was mainly because it was the one that kept showing up while I was looking for specific other ones. <laughs> and some of the town events cannot be done in a single day. Is there still a... Uh, I know why. Ah, golden seeds. Nice. Oh. Uh. Hey, how you doing? Give me the rune spears. <laughs> Why so excited? Do you sense my power? Has it made you cower in fear? If so, then I'm disappointed in you. Huh? Earthmates. The ones who are loved by the earth and blessed by the runes. I was defeated once by one who had the power. When I tried to take over the continent. But... I'm rather thankful for your medicine t for you medicine twerps now. I might even respect you. You Earthmates have reached a different stage of being, which humans can never hope to attain. As I see it, Earthmates are the closest beings to the gods. What are you talking about? So if you're one of them, I trust you won't disappoint me. Do you want these stones so back? Be it. If so, you'll need to stop me with your power by your own hands. Ah. Dick He's a full-time subscriber. Ow. You mad, bro? Ow, he killed me. <laughs> he killed up.
I'm not paying you guys jack squat. I didn't expect him to take my health from 100 to 0 in like a hit. <laughs> he was almost dead. I thought I killed him. Okay, note to self. Don't be that close when he does that. Noted. <laughs> I did not expect my health to go all the way down that fast. I would have never suspected that. Wonderful. Yeah, 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 yeah. Can you stop talking? So be it. Now, before we do that tango. That was the entire field. Not really sure how I'm supposed to get away from that. If it's all the way across the field, I couldn't move anywhere else. <laughs> I might be able to outheal it if it doesn't stun me. Rune Factory Four. In fact, I'm fairly certain if it doesn't stun me, I can outheal it because I was only doing a few thousand a hit, and uh, well, it just hit really fast. Shower. So I think I might be able to out, I might be able to out damage it if it doesn't stun me. <laughs> Wonderful. In fact, I can use Grand Heal if that's so the case. Be it. Let's test it out. I haven't fought him in so long. I don't really remember how he fights. Oh, no. <laughs> well, I know it's a small little orb. Alright, there we go. Now, will I have a chance? I will switch to the Master Cure. Wrong move. Still equipped it. The power of this uh. Wait, there's a thing here. Ha ha ha! I found it. I got you. I mean, if those two moves are your best, I hate to inform you of one thing, but you still need to do better. Yeah, he's dead. Tell me you have more. Yes, you are indeed a true Earthmate. The fairies are really strong, by the way. Wonderful. This is the power I've been longing for. What are you blabbing about? I was naive and foolish before. I see that now. To take over the world was my desire, but you Earthmaids gave me a chance to see how small my desire truly was. Even if humans can rule the world, humans are just humans. We can never be gods. It is simply beyond us. However, what about Earthmates? If I were to obtain the very power that once destroyed my ambitions, if I could be the one who wields the magic that seals even the holy dragons, if I could bear that power that destroyed these gods, then would I not be a god? Well... No... No... You'd still be human. On top of that, my monsters destroyed you. <laughs> so I finally found that which I've been seeking. The Rune Spears. Precisely! These are their creations. I'm in your debt, Earthmates. At long last, I obtained the keys to enter the realm of the gods. <laughs> So that's it. That's your master plan. 
That's why you wanted the rune spheres? You speak as if it's an unworthy goal. You already have the power that everyone desires. You are in no position to doubt my motives. After I was defeated by the hands of an earth mate, I began scouring the world for some means of becoming one, of becoming just like you. I did everything I could to find the secret. I searched and searched and searched and searched and searched and searched. And finally I found it. I found the way. I found the key. You. Gaze upon me, the Earth mate. The of this world's future king. That is not what you said, but okay. This is my true power. Augmented through the might of the rune spheres. Oh, shut up. Oh no, I can't hurt him. Oh, whatever am I going to do? Oh no, he's too strong. Uh, I died because I was eating bread. I, I couldn't go through the thing. This is the power I've long sought. This is the power of the rune spear. I feel it within me. There is no pain. I am without limits. In his glory, I am a god. I was trying to go through the, the area. Mr. I would. <laughs> Are you still clinging to those false hopes? How long do you plan on placing faith in a half-dead god? That husk of a dragon no longer has any purpose. She is little more than a doorstop. I am the one with the power of the gods at my disposal now. Tremble before me! You'll never understand. Vinci is... Vinci is my precious friend. Oh, great. When I lost my memories and came to Selfia, she took care of me and became a very dear friend. And I don't want to be so... <laughs> Ooh, I tripped over everything. And I don't want to be selfish like you dismissing her. You know nothing about her. Bye-bye. You bore me. You're boring, 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 Earthmate! I've had enough of your sniveling! The trivia of your mortal life is unimportant to me. Now die. What? Let's go! Hey, yes. Coden! Can you hear us? If I could have. I'm pretty sure I could have out healed that attack. If I wasn't trying to get through a thing. I didn't know that it added invisible walls there. And I was trying to. And then when I was trying to heal, I forgot that I was holding bread! <laughs> we neutralized the center of the floating empire. And we brought some big help back with us. So, let's yeah. defeat Ithlabar and go back home together. Hi. Vinti? Uh, are you alright? You've got quite the look on your face. Uh, of course I do. I, I, you got back one of the wing spears, no? That's how I was able to. <laughs> Why are you smiling? Did you miss me that much? No, it's just a tick. That's so. Uh, you're the one who seems unusually happy. Because you can talk with me again, no doubt. What are you saying? <laughs> what are you saying? That, that's not true at all. <laughs> so that's our enemy. Yes. Yeah. I see. He has a normal amount of rune power in him. And that's the power bestowed by the rune spheres, is it? It's too much for a human to bear. What? Sorry, Vinci. For what? I promised you I'd get back all the rune spears, but I... I couldn't. Are you saying you've given up already? So you came here because... Well, we're going to get those rune spears back from him right now, you and I. Hmm. Just as promised. Alright? Yeah. Alright, I'm ready for this. Are you two finished talking now? Can the slaughter resume? Let's get this over with. Native dragon and earth mate. Hmm. Who do you think you're talking to, human? Human? Hmm. Absurd! I am not such an insignificant creature anymore. Oh? I am an Earthmate, less by the Earth than its runes. Humans are nothing to me now. They are but pathetic ants, not even worth fighting. How foolish. Earthmates are humans themselves. And your power is nothing more than a sham, a pathetic imitation of something greater than you. If you use po if power you use exceeds your capacity, your body will collapse like a rag doll's. You're right. This shell, this shell cannot host the soul of a god. Therefore, it is inevitable. And when my body collapses, I will abandon this husk and sublimate into a proper god. 
There is no point in talking with him anymore. He's gone off the deep end. No, well, that's not all of my health. <laughs> Are you ready? Let's go. Come, sacrifice yourself for my glorious evolution. I'm going to kill you. Very insistent on trying to hit me. You alright? I mean, yeah, technically. Definitely keeping me alive with that attack. Ow. You know, I think I've had just about enough of you. Yeah, I can out heal that. <laughs> she smacked him down. I was doing the little twist, and then he was hitting me with the spears at the same time. And so I got knocked a little bit unconscious. Like, uh. <laughs> There's another boss in this game that's worse than him. <laughs> Wonderful. Magnificent. You are truly impressive, native dragon. And you as well, Earthman. You gotta remember, Mitzi doesn't have most of her power back. Just as I expected. Might cut off. Oh my god, I didn't even realize it. Uh, though, isn't that why he got the rune spears in the first place? With the story is to be is is believed when he was coming, he was going. He was actually headed in that area to deliver the rune spear, which should have been to bring to help Minty get her full strength back and everything like that. If I'm not mistaken, of what I remember reading, <laughs> Minty. 
But I am Ventuswill, the listen to me, wind. Emperor of Sex. Hate his name. The stones are neither for saving my life, nor for transforming a human into an earthmate or a god. Runes are the essence of vitality. They grant life to everything on and in the ground. Even if you should try to change their purpose, bending it to your own selfish needs, I, Wind Dragon Ventuswill, will not allow it. As a native dragon, I swear, it shall not stand. What? Do you understand what that means? It means you have to die too. Maybe so, but in spite of knowing the fate that awaits me, it is my duty. If I should ignore it, how can I take pride in anything I've ever done? How can I ever say without hesitation that I am truly glad to have been born into this world as a native dragon? <sighs> <laughs> Not yet. I think you misunderstand one thing about me. And what might that be? I too am proud of myself and what I've done in my life. And the goal I spent my life trying to achieve is to abandon this human body and become a god. And the rune spheres I possess, along with the circumstances that have brought them into my possession. Can make my dream a reality. It's the end. Etherlink. What is this? I'm being dragged to him. Did you forget, Earthmate? What I have been studying through my use of rune spheres. That mean is a means of obtaining the power of an Earthmate as a human. And then by using that power, combining human and monster into one entity. And then, through that technique, becoming a true, honest-to-goodness, native dragon, to transform a human into a native dragon, into a god. That is what I seek. No, you mustn't. <laughs> Earth made of Selfia. Why are you so upset? Did I not warn you well in advance? I said, even if you don't come to me, I will assure most assuredly come to you. I was thinking about destroying you first, as you are the biggest obstacle to my success. But since the native dragon came right to my door, this whole plan suddenly became more convenient. <sighs> now, become a part of me. Grant me your godly powers! No way! <clears throat> I was choked on my spit. <laughs> no, I can't let this happen. What am I doing? <laughs> Well, that's not working. Eat. Might as well eat since I'm gonna have a fight. Why did my pets disappear? Hey, Venti. <laughs> yes, this is exactly what I wanted. Now I have the power of a god and the vessel to match it. This is the perfect form for a conqueror. Wonderful. It's wonderful. Positively stunning! What? <laughs> Dumb little idiot. Little dummy. Code it. Please, defeat me. Send me back to the Forest of the Beginnings with him. That's the only chance we have to stop this. But, please, stop him. Ah! <laughs> That foolish dragon just doesn't know when to give up. But she was worshipped as a god all this time. It stands the reason she'd fight me to the end. Now then. How do you like it, Earthmate? Do you like my lovely look? Does Vintage World's skin Isn't suit me? Wonderful. Am I beautiful? Poor Coded. I feel sorry for you. I warned you once, but you ignored me. And now look at what's happened. But not to worry. The power is invincible that now flows within me. The power you so couldn't protect be it. will be put to good use. The power as your new of god. This world's future king. That's still not what you said, but okay. You know what? Let's roll with that. Hear the word. Ah, I know. As a token of my gratitude towards the native dragon and you who made all this possible, I shall make my first order of business. Burn the burning of the town of Selthia to ashes. 
Surely the good lady Ventuswell would be pleased with such a humble offering, no? Little bird! So be it. Come, Earth mate. I will make you feel the same sense of humiliation and frustration as I. Mm. You will crawl there helplessly in despair and self-loathing. Running in circles, running in circles. Mistake one. Ow. Damn it. I have to stop him. <laughs> good. That's very good, Earthmate. This is exactly what I wanted to see. Why did that do like 20k? <laughs> I wanted to see one of your kind, who was who once struck me down, crawl upon the ground like an insect. Oh, no? are you giving up? You Earthmates do deserve some measure of respect, to be sure. For you are the only ones who have ever humbled me. However, I will not forget that humiliation, that suffering. I will never forget it, Earthmate. For days, for years, for decades. Again and again and again and again, I will never forget. I've dreamed of it so many times. I've dreamed about the day you have defeated by the likes of you so many times, every night. What are you talking about? Every time I dream about it, it broke my heart. Broke it into two, three, four, five thousand pieces. Not so, yet. please accept this token of my appreciation. Suffer, suffer, suffer! Right, agony. Okay, I can't read that when it's automatically moving that fast. <laughs> and when you've been dealt with. I will see through it that all of your kind is exterminated from this plane, Earthmate. Before I kill you, I will take great pleasure in annihilating everything you love. Oh, you shouldn't do that. You. Oh, the ship. She's still listing. She's spinning out of control. Doug! Arthur! Ha! They're precious to you, then why don't you protect them? Oh, well, that's right, because you can't. After all, you couldn't even save the holy dragon as she suffered right in front of you. So what's next? Stop. Don't force yourself, Coded. Just stay there and enjoy the show. I want you to see me destroying everything that's precious to you one by one. I have to stop him, but I have no strength left. Do you not, though? I'm sorry, Betsy. I'm sorry, everyone. You have to win! There it goes. I was like, why is it still sitting there? I have to actually click a button. What was that light? Pretty much almost every Rune Factory game does the same thing. Uh, some do it better than others. Frontiers was not bad. Um, Oceans, aka Tides of Destinies, was okay. I don't remember what one to what one did, and I don't think I ever finished two and three to know. <laughs> Minty's charm is glowing. I don't even I don't even have that on me. It's in the chest back at home. <laughs> you don't give up. It's everyone else. It's working. It's going through. Great. Well done, Amber. Or should I call you Watson? Either way, I'm proud of you. Do it. Can you hear us, Prince? The voice of Lady Ventuswell came to us through the charm. She told us to gather our power and send it to you from the rune spots. So we're going to do exactly as we've been instructed. The power will come through the feather. So. You can do it. Don't give up. Not yet. Show that fiendish emperor you won't go down without a fight. Do but Detective gives up. The case remains unsolved. Mm, I can't hold this much longer. Are you hearing our thoughts? Take them. Make them a part of you. Use them. Don't forget, Coded. Okay, it's ready. Yes. And so what do we do? We, the Guardians, send as much rune power as we can from here. So you guys pray for us that Coda receives it. Alright, I got it. Let's do this. 
I'm not reading that. <laughs> hey, Porco! <laughs> Yo, Clorca, you awake? Come on, guys, we have to focus. We're going to send our power to go together, right? Yes, I'm praying with all my heart right now. Oh, so you're awake now, huh? Guess that's my cue to start praying, too. Show me your moves! Can I kill him? Hey. <laughs> Get ready! I'm going to send it right now. Huh? And wait, I still have to pray too. I'm with you. Okay. So do your best. Hope you're hearing all this coded. Remember, you're not alone. Hey. I'm ready. How about you guys? Everyone good to go? I'm ready. Jones, Keel, Keel. Hmm. Everything is A-OK -okay on my end. Same here. Now let's pay our, let's pay our debts to that nosy fool. Dolly, why can't you just be honest about your feelings? Now's the time, you know. It's OK, Pico. We all know how she truly feels. What she means is she wants to show her appreciation to Coda, right? That's right. And given the nature of this dilemma, we should all act just as we normally do. Looks like you weren't fooling anyone, Dolly. Don't ghost. <laughs> Dolly, are you alright? I'm fine. For hundreds of years, I was sending room power to Venti. From here. Hang in there, Dolly. Go, go. Do, 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 do. Hmm. Okay, please do not ask the coded. That's right, it's all up to you now. Hang in there, my lady. Coded. I will not forgive you if you give up now. Yeah, don't worry. You have my word. I also have something I want to say to Coda. So I really hope for a safe resolution. Alright, let's get started. Um, shouldn't you be a little more serious about this? I'm being completely serious, I assure you. I may not be outwardly showing of any nervousness, but trust me, I'm giving this my best effort. I don't doubt you for a moment. Come on, let's wait for them, just like always. One of the butler's duties is taking care of the house during the, the master's absence. So fear not, we butlers will protect the castle for sure. Can I have a word too? As a knight, I'm truly sorry I can't join you in this fight. But I'll definitely protect the people of this town with my life. You can do it! I'm waiting for you, Coded. I'm waiting for your return you here. As am I. Your, your place is right here, Your Majesty. Hey! Don't give up! Save Ventus Will. You are the only one who can save her. The only hope for this world. Take our hope and give it form. We believe in the future you we, whatever it may be. My wounds are getting healed. And I can feel power welling up from within me too. The rest Doted. is up to you. I leave my soul to you as well. Please. Defeat this Feel false god. Power! Destroy him with your own two hands! You're right, everyone. You're right. I mustn't give in. I have to do everything in my power to stop this. So you're still struggling in vain, are you? <laughs> I will rise up against you as many times as it takes. Because I'm not alone. Everyone in Selfia is waiting for our return. <laughs> oh, touching. You're quite the dreamer, Earthmate. It seems I'll need to break your spirits all over again. Just as mine were broken and left for dead. Again and again! Actually, I don't have a need to use the team hill right now. 
make this simpler on all of us. Hey, ow, like that actually did something. Ow. 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 <laughs> it's actually, it's barely doing anything. Now that your scripts are over, you're just, you're, uh, you're, uh, not doing a whole lot right now. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> what you doing, buddy? Like I said, I can out heal you. <laughs> as long as my hits aren't stunned. Ow. Ow. He wants to play the far away game. We don't play the far away game, remember? Nope. Oh, it stunned me at least. But just like every other thing here, Axel Disaster is the best. Oh, he's doing this again. Hooray. Nope. Nope. <laughs> Come at me, bro. I love using Axel Disaster. Just like everything on the floating island, Axel Disaster is just great. Bring it on! Oh god, I like this. Alright, I'll well, have a chance. Alright, let's see what he's got. So this is a small platform right here. Ow. Okay, so... Can't hit him like that. Let me try using a smaller cure. That doesn't take me nearly as much. This might heal me completely, but boy oh boy, is it. I put it away, didn't I? Yo, I did. Okay, so I'll just use the cure all for right now. Come on, you flying coward! I'm not even kidding. This is actually really boring. Because <laughs> I'm just waiting for him to fly by enough for me to get a pot shot. It's not nearly as exciting as any other other fights. And then the platform is like super small too. So it's kind of just... Run away, you little coward. Alright, I accidentally did that twice. Ragnarok is more fun to fight, and he's annoying. That last stage is just boring. Come on, tell me you got something else. You're not gonna end on such a lame note, are you? <laughs> I know he is because he sucks. You know? Because he's, he's weak without his scripts. <laughs> I told you before, remember? Nothing's impossible. I don't understand. This cannot be. How could a god lose to a mere human? I had divine power on my side. And even a divine body. You had nothing. 
What? None of that amounts to anything at all, not where it counts. You never actually had control over the power of a native dragon or even an earthmate. You were pulling the strings for one dark moment, but the power was ours. It was always ours. No! I had everything! But you, Earthmate, you destroyed it all again! Just like before! You weren't even defeated by an Earthmate. You were defeated by an ordinary human. That's impossible. Power comes from the heart. That's not something tangible or measurable. And you can never possess someone else's heart unless they give it to you willingly. Which is why I did just that. I handed my heart over to another. To many others. I gave them my thoughts and my passions. To ordinary no, humans. That can't no! Be. Was I defeated by humans? I became an Earth Maid and even surpassed a native dragon. And yet I was brought down by mere humans? I can never do that as well as he did. Good job, bro. Good. Claps, claps. Enjoy your pain. No! No, it can't be! I can't accept this! I can never accept this! Never, never, never! <laughs> what? Yeah, what did you expect to happen? You thought you were still gonna be breathing after all of this? Ha 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 ha, no, bye bye! <laughs> His runes are being dragged into the forest of beginnings. That means, yes, he used too much of the rune spear's power for his human body to contain it. He's on the verge of collapse. <laughs> I knew it. I'm no longer human. This is the proof. Look at this, Earthmate. I'm going back to the forest as a god. Admit it, Earthmate. My existence. My dignity. I am a dying god! Admit it. Admit it, Earthmate! Admit it! No. He clung to his delusions until the very end. What a pity. But... Are you alright? <laughs> yes, somehow. Well done, Coded. You defeated either the bird. It must have been no. quite an ordeal. Not at all. Because I wasn't alone. I had everyone else by my side. I see. I don't know how I can ever repay you for risking your life on my behalf. Thanks. Thank you for saving me. I'm not the only one who saved you. Everyone in town fought alongside me. You should thank them too. Venti? Seriously, most of the fight- oh, she's totally toast. Uh, seriously, most of the fight was, um, was good. Like, most of the fight was fun. He actually hit really hard. Like, there's actual risk. Like, the first beginning part, if I got hit by that little nuclear thing when I wasn't paying attention, that was it. Lights out, toast. I can out heal it, but it's better to try to avoid it. I did not know I could go up through those things, and then on the second part of it, there's like an invisible, like, barrier there past that point, so I couldn't go there. <laughs> <laughs> and then the other part where he has the shield, and then the first part where he hits, and uh, ah, then the, then the first part where he takes over Vinci. While yes, it's scripted for you to lose. It's um, I noticed my attacks did significantly less damage, like from the thousands to like the fifties. <laughs> so if I got the sword I was after, I wonder. If I could have broke it. <laughs> yes. You're right. Once we get home, I need to thank every single person in Selfia. How about my back, Cody? Let's yeah. head home. You got it. Oh, look at her trying to act tough. Was this the second time for the roll credits? Arc 3 is coming out. God, it's already 1 a.m. Wasn't it like 11 ish when I started this? No, nah, it couldn't be. I've only been going for like an hour and like 20. Whatever. Okay, so as the credits roll again, <laughs> let's, um, 
let's talk about this. I like that entire fight, except the ending. The end of it. That last part was was really boring. He was so easy compared to every other stage, which was reasonably difficult. You know, getting mostly one shot isn't fun, but I mean, I can out heal it, so it's not a big deal. As long as I'm paying attention, it doesn't matter. Plus, I could still somewhat avoid it if I could go through the things. Uh, the scripted knockdowns are okay. It's, they're okay. They're alright. It's not like, um, because it, it follows the sequence. It's still the same fight. Because as you, if, if you paid enough attention, you know, I hate, um, I hate unwinnable battles and scripted deaths. Like battles you're supposed to lose. In this case, it's still the same battle. You can win the first stage and then he powers up and then you get knocked out, but you're still fine. Um, and then you're into the second stage, you can fight him, you fight him again, you knock him out, you got your little teammate with you this time. Then he, uh, he gets even stronger, he knocks you down one more time, starts causing some damage, you get picked back up and you get extra more power and then you take him out. Those are okay. It's just the ones where you're just fighting and then you're intended to lose so the story can progress. And that's it, you don't really get back into that fight, and most of the time you don't even get to do the fights again and actually win. <laughs> Sometimes you do. Like, there's a couple of times where you do. Uh, Tales of Graces is actually an example of the way that I do understand how they did it and why, but also I hate at the same time. Because when you fight so-and-so, you can't win. You cannot win. Like, you can't. You can get him to zero health. You can be destroying him. Get him to zero health. And then his health turns from, from the numbers to question mark, question mark, question mark. It's so stupid. Just progress the game. <laughs> you actually coded the fact that if you're strong enough to or good enough to take him out, you can't actually take him out. And it doesn't automatically end the fight either. Shut up, phone. No one asked your opinion. It doesn't actually end the fight either. No, you have to wait for him to kill you. <laughs> but at the same time, later in the game, uh, through a skit, you have the ability to actually have a rematch. <laughs> yeah, usually I will utterly destroy him once we do the rematch because I'm petty. <laughs> but, um... You should be able to tell I'm petty. Uh, if you've ever seen me play any fighting game, if I get grabbed, I don't care how. It's <laughs> forced. Poor God, she tripped. <laughs> if you ever seen me play any fighting game, if I get grabbed or something like that, or I get hit by the first super attack, I will not do anything else until I hit you with whatever you hit me with. I'm super petty. <laughs> Overall, the fight was good. I just didn't like the last phase. I also didn't like that my monsters got sent away. Like, I brought them with me because I felt like they would be great to have along with me in the fight. And they were because they were utterly destroying him. <laughs> the game, they were destroying him so bad, the game said, no, I need to send you back. <laughs> it was fine. I almost ran out of bread, though. I think I only had, like, two or one left. <laughs> That's why I was eating the other thing. I didn't expect it to take that much, though. I forgot I have the game on hard now, so I have to be more careful. I just kind of went in guns blazing, talking smack, uh, as I normally do. I still won. We're not going to count the first two when I was like, oh, right, I probably should actually not do that. <laughs> but hey, this game's not done. There's another arc. The one that I had a hard time getting to start, I barely went through, I, no, I never got to start Act 3. Like, I've seen Room Prana, which only starts like in the middle of Act 3. Oh yeah, they're talking. You got it. You released the Guardians, defeated Etherbird, and saved me. From the first moment I met you. I saw a small light shining within. No, no, I, I, I got accurate to start, but it was not in the same playthrough. 
I don't like this, this is an auto, because I can't really read it and talk. Hey, you done the auto talking? All right, cool. Um, no, uh, I started playing the game again because I always thought either of I was last boss because these games don't really end. But because I can never trigger the third act. That to the point I didn't even know there was one. It's a town event, basically. And so, if you aren't doing all the town events, like you probably should be, uh, you can have a town event completely keep you from getting the third act. And they were completely random. They're com they were completely random. I hear they tried to fix that a bit for the special edition, but it was the same reason I never married Margaret, even though I married pretty much everyone else, because um, I could not get her event to trigger. I was going through all the different town events, and I could not get hers to trigger. Same thing with Act 3. I never really got it then, because it was a town event. I only heard about Act 3 when I was going through forums looking for certain things that I could upgrade and so on. So. And I, could, I still couldn't find certain materials, so I was like, where are these from? And then it was like, Act 3, and I was like, wait, what? How do you unlock Act 3? It's a random town event. And I never could get it to trigger. But, I mean, I eventually got it to trigger because I was in Rune Prana, and that's why I know about Ragnarok. Like, he's, uh, he's annoying. Um, <laughs> he's also very difficult. <laughs> but, I never finished it. Let's just put it that way. <laughs> We're here. Yeah! Yes! Ah, be it ever so humble. I feel like I've been fighting forever. Yes, it has been a long day indeed. I'm a bit tired myself. Hi, everyone. I love when her wings come out. <laughs> it only happens when she's really excited. I knew you'd come back. We may have helped a little, but it is your victory most of all, noted. I'm so moved Wonderful. by your brave actions. Even if I could hardly see them, I knew they were happening. It wasn't just me. I was able to win this battle because of everyone's prayers. You all had a hand in it. Are you tired? You must be tired too, then. Yes. Hmm? Are you alright? Uh... Coded. <laughs> that must be Margaret. Margaret, right? Uh, the time frame for the return does seem plausible, but it could be a trap. But why would it be exactly? Just my instincts as a detective. You need new instincts. I can see things are back to normal here. I'm still mad that, um, Illuminata is not marryable. Why? They had the chance. She, she's roughly around the same age as you, even though she's an elf. Because she's close, I think she's close to the same age as, uh, as Margaret. She's, <laughs> she is single. <laughs> I, I, I don't I, I don't understand. I have I have no idea why they did that. <laughs> She's such a enjoyable character too. It's a shame. <laughs> it's not like how people are like, why can't we marry Lin Fa? Uh, because she's married and has a child that you can marry. Duh. Illuminata is younger, single, and not marryable. I have no idea why. <laughs> you know, everyone a real debt of gratitude. I'm going to give him a thanks. See you later, Minty. Take care. Great job, Coded. 
Thanks. I doubt I could have done it myself, though. Next order of business is actually going to be, I think, I'm going to start taking the villagers with me to um, raise them up and start dating people. Because I do want to see the newlywed stuff, newlywed mode stuff. Plus, I think it's about time we started wrapping up those loose ends, too. Thanks, I couldn't have done it myself, though. She did a wonderful job, Goated. It you must be exhausted. It was fantastic. I was so moved by what was happening around me. Why don't you say something, too, Dallas? Yeah. Oh, well, you know. Good job. You did well. <laughs> what was that? Stop being such a shy baby. Okay. Uh, this is time for celebration. Celebration is about to take a turn. I know it. I've beaten him before. And I remember things. Indeed it is. And what better way to celebrate than with a kiss from mom and get away from it? That's going too far. It almost feels like a dream. But I'm not dreaming, am I? Oh, I have something perfect for you, Florida. I call it a cheek pincher. It lets you check to see if you're dreaming. With a name like that, I'd say it's pretty obvious how it works. By the way, where's Doug? I haven't seen him just yet. Uh... They're, they're fine. They're hey. fine. Did you dare tell me? Uh, they're fine. It's the airship. What? It may have been hit, but it didn't go down. Run! Oh. Doug! <gasps> Arthur! I'm glad you two are okay. How can I die in a place like that? I don't know how we did, but we did it. We made it through. But I have to admit, it was very, very close. You two. Thanks so much for coming to help. A yawn tried to come up, and then a hiccup tried to emerge at the same time. He canceled it out, but it still made me stop in my tracks. I promised you I'd do everything in my power, didn't I? Oh, no. Doug! Oh dear Doug, oh. you're alive! Granny oh, Blossom! Of course I am! Huh? Hey, well, what's with the vice grip? What? Stop, they're all looking at us! There's no need to be embarrassed. Blossom must have been terribly worried. At least, let her at least hug you. Wait! What happened to Etherbird? And Mitch Swill. Uh, that's right, after Etherbird took over. Don't worry, I defeated Etherbird. I, I do not actually know if his name is being said right. I, I, it's not voice. Um, I took back both Vinci and the Room Spears. For serious, but you probably should have went and placed them instead of sitting around talking and like everything is all cheerful. For serious? I'm ecstatic to hear that. And where are the Room Spears now? Right here. Let me hold on to them for a moment, please. I'll order the capital to have them set in place right away. And of course, I'll make sure they're fully secure at this time. Thanks a bunch. Now, let's say we go visit Lady Vincewell. Sure. I think I'll go thank the others. Alright. <laughs> glad that's over. I gotta admit, I was pretty damn worried. You don't look it now. You look sickeningly happy, sickeningly happy right now. I still read it wrong. Oh. So do you, Dallas. Now that you have Doug's okay. What? <laughs> <laughs> you two just can't get enough of each other. What? That's not true! <laughs> Coded! Hey, Pico. We were so worried, especially my lady. <laughs> You're the worst. <laughs> I saw it coming! <laughs> Hmm. She's lucky she's a ghost, because she would have definitely died again right now. <laughs> Way to go, Cody. I heard all of that. <laughs> she was just completely decked her. <laughs> Way to go, Cody. I heard all of your accomplishments were later as well. It seems like you were outstanding, just as expected. I couldn't have done it without everyone else's help. No. Oh. Thank you. No. <laughs> she just knocked her flat. <laughs> no, we should be the one thanking you. Thank you so much for bearing the weight of our passions and hearing our thoughts. So, not bad, got it. Here she goes again. Thanks, Dawson. Dawson, Dawson. Whatever. <laughs> I was really encouraged. 
when you told me to come home safely. Oh, oh so that's what you prayed for, huh? Wow, how sweet of you, Dolly. Hmm, I had no idea. Wait, Kiel, don't you dare. <laughs> don't worry, I know. Fine, then. I'll make sure to tell everyone exactly what happened, so there are no misunderstandings. That sounds lovely. <laughs> now, oh, oh, hold on a second. I'll wander around town a little more, I think. Uh-huh. There they are. There's the last group. Oh, great. They're getting worse. Oh, there you are. Uh, how are you, Cody? Are you uninjured? We saw Lady Minstrel on our way back. Your Majesty, that was utterly magnificent! You were not badly injured, yes? I was very worried. I was more worried about your face after you tripped and busted it. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm truly sorry that I couldn't accompany you. As a knight, it would have been my honor. We all prayed a lot so that you'd win. You're the hero of this town, Your Majesty. Um, eh, jeez. <laughs> Why don't you calm down a little? I need to I need to check if Leon can upgrade the actual like rune skills. I know he upgrades magic, but I've never given him a rune skill, like like my fist move and stuff like that, to even upgrade him. Because they have levels too. But I think this is just the magic. I'm not sure. I'll have to try it. But I'm gonna save first because I don't want to give him the stuff I wanna keep. Oh, Leon. That's my dame, don't wear it out. I hate you. <laughs> thank you very much for helping me. Of course. I need to thank each and every one of you. I couldn't have saved Minty if it weren't for all your efforts. I'm glad we placed our hope on our hopes Thanks. on you. Thank you, Cody. Cody! I finally found you. And you're with everyone else. Excellent. Will you all come come to the restaurant, please? The restaurant? Why? Porco and Dallas are very special dishes in celebration. We're having a party today. I've asked the kingdom to hold off on their official thanks so we could have time to unwind. Oh, then we should invite Vinci too. Lady Vinci's will won't be attending. Huh? She said that the whole restaurant would collapse if she tried to fit inside it. Ha <laughs> <laughs> that's true. I must say, she looked quite tired too. She could use some quiet. It must have been a long, exhausting day for her. Our children are us, right, Cody? Things would not be the same if you were not here. Of course. Yeah, then let's go. I'll join you after we see Minty. Okay, we'll be waiting. I love those rune spears, though. I need to get... It's you. You're awake. So, does everyone seem to be having a good time now that the crisis is averted? They do. And they're all happy that everything's going back to normal again. <laughs> back to normal. Yeah. With you and everyone else present and accounted for, and you too, of course. Right. Peaceful, carefree days filled with joy and love. You and I bickering and laughing like we always do. It all seems so small compared to what we just accomplished. That is exactly what we all want. What we all need. It's what makes life worth living. Venti? They were all overcome with joy, weren't they? Absolutely. I'm satisfied then. Satisfied I could see you this one last time. What? <laughs> what did you think? Were you paying attention during their last fight? This is your body. Hmm. Why? I can no longer stay here. I must go to the forest of beginnings. Why? What? Are we taking back the rune spears? Even using the power of the rune spears, <laughs> I can't receive the runes themselves without a body. <laughs> what do you mean? By the time you defeated Ethelberg, my body had already returned to the forest of beginnings. What's left here is only my spirit. My wish was to see everyone's faces one last time, and to spend even a moment longer with you. But my time is short. It will soon be impossible to maintain this form just by wishing, and the runes are dwindling. Well. It is time to say goodbye, Cody. Oh. Don't be sad. I love how the nighttime Ooh, just starts. I don't even know if you could hear when I did that because of all my filters. Don't be sad. 
I was supposed to die centuries ago, and yet we met. That enough is a miracle. At one point, I had resented the decisions made by the Guardians and the Earthmates. But I am thankful now. Getting to know you, making such a dear friend, was one of the best things that ever happened to me. That's why. I wanted you to smile as you see me off. I want you to smile as you see me off. This is the last request I'll make of you, and I ask it as a friend. Please. That's not Sorry. fair, Venti. Look after this town for me when I'm gone. Don't worry. I have plenty of others to help me with that. Anything can happen the moment I leave. Not really. You weren't actually doing anything after all. <laughs> <laughs> Cheeky little brat. <laughs> Still. Hmm. They'll all be sad, you know. It's almost time. Venti. I won't forget you. Nor I you, Venti. I don't really care if you do. No, you care. You get lonely so easily. I know you're happy to hear me say I won't forget you. Jeez, your own business! <laughs> well, to be honest, I wouldn't mind you thinking of me from time to time. Remembering that I once existed in this world. I promise you, I'll never ever forget a moment of the time we spent together. I'll keep bragging to everyone. But the first friend I ever met was a dragon god who's sensitive and strong. And has a caring, loving heart. Jerk. <laughs> I couldn't keep what? my promise. What? I promised to bring back your memories. And that I'd stay beside you until the day it comes. I'm sorry. You didn't break that promise. What? You did exactly what you said you'd do. Now I have tons of wonderful memories thanks to you. I came to this town and got to know a lot of people. I learned so much just by talking with them. Not to mention meeting that melodramatic best friend of mine. She's a bit scaly, but very sweet. My memories, both happy and sad, are all here within me. So there's nothing to worry about. You did me one better than bringing them back. You helped me create newer, better memories. Uh, you can't say that if you don't know what your old memories were. <laughs> That's the problem with amnesia. You don't know what you were doing before. <laughs> or what you had. I see. Hey, Venti. Don't go. Venti, please stay. It's time. I'm sorry. Wait, please, right. don't go! It's up to you. I was truly happy to have known you. Hey! Thanks to you, I could love another human being again. If one day our paths may cross once more, then... Nothing will please me more than spending every day bickering and joking with you again. Thanks. Thank you, Cody. <laughs> My last best friend. Minty. You idiot. How am I supposed to... Say my final goodbyes with a smile? That day, Benji disappeared from our sight. We were in mourning for a long time, but everyone's lives are more or less back to normal now. Every now and again, though, we still get that feeling that something important is missing. The Empire retreated soon after the fall of their emperor. Envoys are being sent from Norad for diplomatic relations. Now that Etherbird's gone, such as seems to have entered into a period of radical change. Arthur says it could transform into transform the political landscape in a very positive way. But really, isn't that to be expected? It means or no, they're still human beings. As for me, I've been living life just that I had been, like everyone else in this town. Although my heart feels a little emptier than before, after Venti's departure, I constantly reminded myself that I've gained just as much as I've lost. I 
I still can't remember who I was before coming here. However, these new memories I've made are ones I can't look back on, I can look back on with pride. They are memories of beautiful times spent with dear friends. I wonder if she's watching over us from afar. Once there was a god in this town. She took the form of a dragon, but spoke the language of humans. As much as she loved us, she was afraid of getting hurt, so she remained distant for a long time. She was a truly caring god. And though she's gone now, we must move forward with our lives, working towards a blissful future. Through both happiness and hardships, we must live every day here, tolling as we mortals are wont to do, tolling together in harmony. That was the last promise I made with my first friend. Once there was a god in town, and I was her friend. Ugh, I have control again. My plants are okay, seeing how I wasn't able to water them for a while. And so is my life. But we're gonna make sure we fix this very much. Oh, hi, friends. Alright, so. Basically, I think it's about time we wrap up for the day. There's still a town event going on, so I can't really progress to the third arc. It's the stupid bird one that I still hate. Can I stop missing? I've already done that one then. There it is. I'll take that. This one gives more stats to the um, to the fairies. But it has a much lower like production rate. Axel disaster is just disgusting. <laughs> I have, I don't think I've found rune abilities that are that are better than it. It's just really good because it hits so many times and it moves you like through areas. Like even the cyclone that I've been using kind of pales in comparison. Because yeah, it has a spin. It hits multiple times, but not nearly as much as Axel disaster. It really is a disaster. For your enemies. Anyway, so I'm still trying to get 10 star most crops um, so I can sell them. A lot of progress that needs to be made. This is a fish. This is a fish I caught. These are festivals, right? Anyway, um, yeah, to figure out what we're gonna do now. I think I'm gonna, get, yeah, I think I'm pretty much gonna start working on the friendships with people. If I can start fixing that. I mean, I've been working on error somewhat. But, Gorka is going up. That's mainly just from talking to her. Hers is actually rises pretty fast. Forte is at four. I basically don't care about any of the guys because I can't do anything about their stuff. So, I think there are events for raising them up. So, I'll see you about raising them up a little bit. Um. We're gonna start racing theirs up. I think I remember most of the stuff that they like, so that's good. But I also need to start leveling them as well, making them a little stronger. Um, I'm working on my skills, so I think throughout fall, one thing I'm gonna be doing is planting a lot. I think regrowable crops are gonna be my best resource. But I'm also working on maxing out um, crops to make them 10 stars. And I think the best way for me to do that is going to be to use the summer, spring, winter, and fall fields. 
and focusing on one square of land. Because I have the money to buy the, uh, the, the formulas that I need to get the fields up. And then from there, it's just getting the smaller formula to maintain them, which does have the ability to spawn at a certain point. Um, also working on getting some of my gear, it's just, it's hard to level up my gear any further until the third act, because everything I can use pretty much comes from Rune Prana. This was the same issue that I had when I originally played the game, because I couldn't start the third act. Everything comes from Rune Prana. And I could never get it, because I could never start the third act. So, there are still things I can get. It's just the stuff that you want to upgrade to, the stuff that makes sense, is from Rune Prana. So I have to grind out some of these skill levels, but I have a way, I have a somewhat of a way around it. It's just a little bit more tedious. So first things first, I'm gonna work on the villagers and work on getting these up at the same time and work on resist the status resistances because this is gonna be very important. This is really important for this next arc. These status resistances are really important for the next arc. <laughs> like, I'm not kidding. Plus they increase my stats and I need those. But yeah, these are really important for the next place. <laughs> so I'm going to work on doing that. I've been working on it a little bit, as you can tell. I just, when I remember, I drink an object X before I go to sleep. Because it gets you pretty much all the statuses. But there are other ways of doing it. But for now... That is all the time we have for this episode of Rune Factory 4 Special. If you like this episode, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you all on the next episode.